What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. I hope y'all had a good weekend. We're going to get back to it. Today, we're going to be going to my home city and talking about a local based gang organization called BGF. Just a little disclaimer we ain't giving out no information that ain't public information. We don't do no rat and no telling. So let's get to it. Now, I can freestyle this one because I know a lot about BGF coming from Baltimore. You know, going through the prison system up there, you know, they pretty much run the jails. You see what I'm saying? And then they took it from the jails to the streets. So, you know, they started taking over the streets after a little minute. But BGF was an organization that started in California, actually. It was started in San Quentin. You feel me? In the prison system there. It's called the Black Gorilla Family. You know what I mean? They stick together. It's like a brotherhood. You know, you got that Aryan Brotherhood. You got all these other organizations. Um, I know when I was in Hagerstown, Maryland, you had uh, white guys called the Polar Bears. They was like a, a offset of the BGF. You see what I'm saying? So it's definitely an organization that got a stronghold, you know, in certain cities. But it's crazy because down south, I know a lot of people that never heard of BGF. But yeah, if y'all know anything about the BGF and y'all know anything about Baltimore, and the prison system, they pretty much run the jails. They get anything they want, you see what I'm saying? Like, some of them in cahoots with the CEOs. The CEOs that give them stuff, give them information. And even if somebody wants something done to you, if they know the right people and they BGF, you might as well say something definitely going to happen to you, you know? Um, I did a story when I first started YouTube about a shooter in Baltimore, you know, and he was tied to BGF and he had like a whole bunch of bodies. So they definitely put a lot of fear in the city and you know, they definitely got a lot of people scared. But see the thing about it, what I realized by being incarcerated with a lot of dudes that was in BGF, I seen a lot of dudes joining BGF that was from like the Eastern Shore, that was from like other counties, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people was joining for protection because they is so strong. And I always been a firm believer that if you rocking with me and you ride with me and you my man, you ain't gonna send me on no dummy mission. And I seen BGF members sending everybody that they was trying to get to join pretty much on dummy missions, making them do stuff they wouldn't do themselves. Like go do this to this dude. You feel me? Knowing that might get you an extra five years and they about to go home tomorrow and they not going to do it themselves. So I was like, nah, you know, I was approached by the BGF. I was offered to, you know, be a be in the top rankings for real because, you know, I got family that's associated with it. I got people that's still locked up that's associated with it. So, you know, I ain't going to say too, too much about it. But it's a story, a story that happened in Baltimore City Jail. When a dude named Tavon basically was running the BGF, he was one of the heads of the BGF at the jail. You know, he had like three COs pregnant at the same time. He was making like 30 grand a month from inside the prison. He was buying people cars, paying people rent from inside the jail. So that's how powerful these dudes is in Baltimore City. You know, I be bringing y'all this information because... I know a lot of people don't be knowing about a lot of these groups and a lot of this information. You know, I take it from state to state. You know, I like people to know what's going on everywhere around the world. You never know when you might want to go somewhere. You need to know what's going on in that city. So, but yeah, man, I just wanted to give y'all that quick little story. And um, I'm going to do an update on this story, too, about the dude Tavon. And um, one of my subscribers told me to do an episode on how to survive in Baltimore because they about to move to Baltimore. So I'm going to work on that, man. But I appreciate y'all for watching. If you're new to the fan, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for uploads. I'm going to put the Patreon account at the bottom. We started a Patreon. If you want exclusive content and you want to join the Patreon and get some behind-the-scenes footage and some new videos, go ahead and look that in the links. Love y'all, fam. I'm out.